Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Papa's gonna buy you. It's, it's not what it looks like. Um, I was looking at pornography on my iPod. <laughs> Fine, you caught me knitting. Are you happy now? Well, get over it. It's not like I knit all my own clothes or anything. Well, that was awkward. But you know what? I'm not ashamed. In fact, last week I baked cookies and they were delicious. I probably shouldn't have admitted that. Ah, I gotta say something manly now. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Benjamin Franklin knit. Take a look at this picture. Oh wait, that's not a knit. That's a kite. Hmm. Even spiders knit. You know, from their butt. Huh, what's that? It's called spinning? Oh right, that makes sense. I always thought they knit their webs. Well, still. If they wanted to, they could. In fact, I just read that scientists are revolutionizing spider silk to be used as clothing, among other important things. And apparently in their attempt to harvest silk from the spiders, they learned that spiders are too aggressive and cannibalistic to mass produce their goods. Oh, so that explains why Spider-Man eats his victims after he poisons them with his biotic pincers. That is Spider-Man, right? So anyway, they added the gene of a spider to the DNA of a silkworm, and they created a spiderm. Silkwormer. Spilkderm. Spike word. Peter Wormman? Something like that. Regardless, it strengthened the silkworm silk tenfold. In time, if they can commercially produce it, it'll be really useful in the medical field for things like new kinds of biomaterials for wound dressings, artificial ligaments, tendons, tissue scaffolds, and microcapsules for drug delivery. I don't know what any of that means, but it sounds handy. All I care about is getting my hands on a spider silk bulletproof vest from, from when someone tries to shoot me with a gun. In other news... Oh wait, I have no other topics. Less disappointing. Speaking of disappointing, yesterday, whilst I was eating my lunch, I looked out my front window and found a team of people shoveling my driveway. And there was a lot of snow out there, so I was really appreciative. Quick side note, I live in a duplex, so we have a shared driveway. Anyway. I'm staring out my window watching these people remove the snow with such grace and passion. And I'm talking, they got shovels, they got a snowblower, leaf blower, hair dryer. Well, maybe they didn't have a snowblower. And I'm thinking, what a wonderful act of random human kindness. So I open my front door so I can thank them all and individually hug all of them. When I realize they're only shoveling half of the driveway. What? Yeah. At this point, I realized that the people next door obviously hired this team of specialists to shovel their snow, which is technically fine, but they do share the driveway with me and my roommate. So really, wouldn't it have been really easy just to ask the team to shovel our half too? Hey guys, I really appreciate that you guys are shoveling my driveway. You're doing an awesome job. You think that maybe since it's only going to take you eight and a half minutes anyway, you think you could just quickly do my neighbors? I think you would appreciate it. But no, it probably went a little more like this. Hey guys, you're doing a great job at shoveling my driveway. I just wanted to remind you to make sure you cut a line right down the middle and uh, don't shovel my neighbor's driveway. I know it's going to be really fast for you guys to do this and you're probably going to wonder uh, if maybe you should, but I'm just confirming to not shovel it for him. In fact, shovel my snow onto his side so it goes from two and a half feet to three feet. I think that'd be great. Thanks. Or maybe even... Hey guys, you're doing a great job, and I just want to remind you that if you do show a shed of decency and shovel my neighbor's driveway too, I'll bring my gun out here and I'll shoot you. Anyway. Oh look, I'm almost out of time. Well, I better say goodbye before the vlog abruptly ends on me. Well, humans, I'll see you tomorrow. Good so wouldn't have the... So wouldn't have... So wouldn't have been, so wouldn't have, so wouldn't it, so wouldn't it, so wouldn't it, why can't I say that?